This video contains an ad for Rocket Money. More about them in a few minutes. Hey, we're Jay and Jamie, and we make tons of spooky props and decorations. Today, <laughs> we're gonna do a makeover on Nozzles the Clown. This is a Halloween animatronic from Spirit Halloween, and he's so cool because he shoots fog out of his hands. Like, what? Not sure exactly what we're gonna make it over into yet. We have some ideas, but first we're gonna unbox it, put it together, kind of check out how it works, and go from there. So according to the box here, his name is Terry. So, I mean, his name is Nozzles, but also Terry. It was Terry until a tragic accident happened. <laughs> it's a big box, there's a lot of stuff in here. We got noodles, two pool noodles. Well, I mean, they're, they're not noodles anymore. They're just foam tubes. <gasps> These are the nozzles. The nozzles. <laughs> Giant clown feet. Oh, okay. These are probably arms. Are they bendy? Oh no, those are just the tubes on the end. The tube is bendy. There's a straight metal thing inside this arm. How many are nozzles? The head. Let's get him out of this package here. All right, there is nozzles. He's a rubber mask. I don't think his mouth moves. Got some cool toxic green hair. His eyes light up and they're not exactly facing the same way. They're kind of, oh, you Kind of got that Pennywise thing going on. Yeah. Got a bunch of tubes and this looks like, like a fog juice container. Outfit, pants. This guy's tall. The box does say he stands six feet tall. Okay, that's awesome. Is that a collar? Oh, it's a collar. <laughs> yeah, not a skirt. A shirt. I think all of this is black light reactive, so that's really cool. Uh. Helps add to the toxic feeling. Oh, it's all one piece. Okay. This is where the magic happens. This right here. You got your control area. This is your motor right here. So that's the other part. Of it. That's his back, I think. And his head goes right here. There's a lot of pieces on this one. Yes, there are. I think we need the directions this time. <laughs> also a lot of directions. <laughs> okay, so we have the base. Now we need legs. B and B. Uh, shoes now. Does he have a right and a left? They look the same. Okay. You can make like a tap dancing clown. Uh-huh. Move him down. Now his pants, which are in here. <laughs> There, there we go. Right. Pants go up. What does this do? What? This His hula. waist moves. It goes like this. Oh, he rotates. Yeah. I thought he was gonna do like a... Like a hula? Like a hula hoop. So one thing to point out is that this was the most expensive animatronic we bought all season, but there are a lot yeah. of pieces. There's a lot going on, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But does he have a motion hole? That's the question. Oh yes, <laughs> there's always a motion hole. <laughs> also looking at the back of this mechanism, he has all the standard controls. He has a volume control. You can plug in a step pad. This is where you plug in the power and you can plug in an external speaker jack if you want better quality sound, so pretty cool. He totally has a motion hole, it's right here. <laughs> K is on your side. Okay. It goes tube side in first. Each arm has this little wire. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, there it is. And now the hose hooks up to the hand, right? Uh-huh. All right, we got them all put together, but before we fog out the whole garage, let's see what his motion looks like. <laughs> Last week we announced we've just gone full time on YouTube, which is awesome and also scary. Because now we need to think about things like bills and managing our finances so we can keep making content for y'all. Enter Rocket Money. It's an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less, which is what we need to do right now. Whether you're starting a small business or just wanna get control over your finances, Rocket Money can help a ton. We basically had three goals. We wanted to set up a monthly budget, we wanted to lower our monthly bills, and we wanted to make sure that we weren't paying for a bunch of subscriptions that we don't need. Or forgot about. <laughs> All three have been great with the platform. Our budget is automatically monitored so we can tell when we've spent too much on paint and other things. Hey, we really needed that ultra metallic silver. Thank you very much. You get these friendly notifications that let you know when you've exceeded a budget and it's easy to visualize everything that's going on with your money. Best part though, Rocket Money will actually negotiate lower bills for you because the last thing we wanna do when we should be making videos is spending time on the phone with like that cable company or something. The platform does it for you. It's amazing. Also, we realized we had two Netflix subscriptions because our cell provider actually gave us one for free, but we we're still paying for the old one. With just a tap, Rocket Money canceled it for us and saved us a bunch of money. So now we can buy more paint. 
So try it for free and to unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com slash wickedmakers or click the link in the video description. Okay, so this is the most expensive animatronic Spirit Halloween has. It says on the box that it shoots fog. Nowhere on the box does it say you need an additional fog machine. You would think that this makes fog. It doesn't make fog. Can you just use like any fog machine? I don't know. It says it's compatible with Spirit's fog machine. Come on, Spirit. Really? We managed to find a fog machine that fits the adapter, so I think it's gonna work. But still, I'm angry. Are you ready? Yes. Careful where you're going. Don't try to sanitize this place. Where is the fog? It's plugged in, the light's on. I see smoke coming out of this thing. Careful, it just turned going. on. What? How long is it gonna go? I don't know. <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. So good. Turn the fog off. So good. Stop! Something happened. Is it because this is not like a spirit Halloween fog machine, so it's not like triggering it correctly? That is probably it. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> We're just gonna think about the fog later. For now, let's, let's talk about what we do like. He's tall. He goes like this and this. And that's pretty cool. It's, yeah, the movement's cool. It's like a cool. nice movement. And his voice, his attitude, it's kind of silly, which I actually like that a lot. I like the detail on the face. Yes, we can work with this. The arms are super long. Like I measured Jay's arm and I measured this guy's arm and it's literally twice the length of Jay's arm. So we're gonna have trouble finding some clothes that fit, but we'll see. When we did Lord Raven, someone was like, oh, I didn't realize how short you guys were till you were standing next to Lord Raven. Yes, I'm hey. sorry, okay, we're short. But we did have some ideas on what we're gonna actually make him over to. Jay actually came up with this idea. It's amazing. We're gonna turn him into the Joker. Be the perfect Joker. Joker even like kills with poison gas. So like thematically it fits. We're gonna do the Joker from the Arkham series, the video games. And we also did the Scarecrow, kind of inspired by Batman too, so it fits. He's already got the green hair, the smile. He needs know. a lot of paint work on the face. That's what we're gonna start with. And then we'll move to costume. To paint this guy, we can't use our regular acrylic paint because this is all flexible and that'll make the paint flake off and crack and do all sorts of bad things. What we have to use is a flexible rubber mask paint. You can buy rubber mask paint at the store or you can make your own. So we learned a recipe from Stilt Beast one part interior house paint, one part molding latex, and a little bit of water. You do want to make sure you mix your paint and latex together first, because if you just dump the water in there and then try and mix it, it looks like curdled milk. It's real gross. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. You sure? Yes. His gums are so weird and... I think all of it looks good. Okay. I never know. It's such a journey painting. Like you get on this one layer and then that looks terrible and then you put on another layer and then you put on another layer and then it all comes together and then hopefully it looks good. But you don't know like three stages behind if it's gonna look good or not. You always feel that way, but as we're watching, like everything looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> it's weird because like the sculpt of his face is very much not Joker, but we're giving him Joker coloring and trying to push it into that realm like as much as possible. The Joker's kind of classic feature is he has kind of a normal mouth, but the, you know, the makeup comes like way beyond the mouth, right? right. Whereas this guy already has a huge mouth. So how do you want to do the lipstick? Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be smudgy. I'm mean, a lot of Jokers that's like, you know, messed up, it's like, 
So I want to have an element of like messiness to it, but I don't want to bring it like into his hairline. Yeah, his mouth goes literally all the way back. It's yeah. He doesn't have any ears. Instead, his mouth goes all the way back behind where his ears would be. He doesn't have ears. I never noticed that. <laughs> That's always, I think, a big part of the creative process of making one of these mask makeovers is like, you know, there's always something weird and we're trying to interpret it and figure it out. But I think you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Cute. I mean, cute's probably not the right word, but I love him. Yes, he's cute. amazing. <laughs> it's not quite done yet. No, we've got to do the eyes. I don't know what we're doing with the eyes, but we have to take the tape off, and he's, his eyes go this way, and they're weird colors. We're gonna take a break from the face. Yeah. And move on to his body. So the Joker almost always has a purple suit. So we managed to find one on Amazon. We had to order the hugest size they had. So this isn't too bad. This kind of fits, but the sleeves only come about halfway down the arms. It's like that much space left. I think if we can get the arms to be the right size with the jacket, it'll look a lot better. It'll look fine. It'll look great. And you know what I want to do with these sleeves is make them a little bow tie out of this fabric. Like it's that would be it. cool, right? Yes, okay. I love it. These are monster hands we got at the Halloween store and Jamie painted them to be sort of a pale color and I think they're gonna be a perfect size. Let's see if my plan works here. Take my wire and go inside the hand. This <laughs> sort of have hands. <laughs> nice. So what we want to try to do is put these back in his hands but instead of them being his hands he's gonna be holding them. I think I need to trim this at about right here. There we go, something like that. So the sleeve is trimmed, his hand will fiddle with this and kind of get it in the right position. We'll probably glue it on there once we're happy with it. And the light is still hooked up, so everything kind of functions the same way. We went to the thrift store this morning and we found clothes. <laughs> they actually had purple pants. Well, they're corduroys, which is not exactly right. They're, they're more like maroon. They're pretty they're freaking like a burgundy. Clothes. <laughs> they're, yeah, and, and, and these are like fancy, sort of purplish shoes. Mm -hmm. And the yellowish shirt. That matches pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. And they're even almost long enough. We don't know if they fit yet, but we'll I think they should fit. You know what I was thinking too, is if they're not big enough, you could basically slice open the back of them and just like sort of drape them over his legs. No. No. <laughs> no, you could not do that. Okay, never mind. I almost had a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so the shirt. I'm gonna cut this shirt into two parts. So the first part of it, we'll slice it down the back and I'm gonna cut like this part out. And then that will go inside here to kind of cover up the neck area. And then the bottom of it I'll cut out and that will go under here and get like glued in there. We can even use the cuffs. We could use the sleeve cuff. Okay. We would both go in, there we go. All right, let's pull your pants up, sir. <laughs> You're making a scene. That's pretty close. His you... pants need to be up like here. The legs are maybe like an inch short. It's really close. Do we need to like, we have to like... clamp him or something? Yeah. For now we can clamp it. These were originally woodworking clamps, but we use them for like everything. <laughs> like having lots of small clamps around is one of the best things you can have in a craft shop. bottom just gets wrapped around the waist? Yes. I think that works. I mean, look, this is awesome. He's got pants, he's got an untucked shirt, he's got a thing, he's got a collar. This is so ridiculous. The amount of times we go to the thrift store and buy clothes and then just ruin them right away. <laughs> it's a lot of times. far too clean. So we're gonna put some black paint on him and then maybe a little bit of brown and we're gonna use the finger painting method. So just get right in there and rub it in. He's dirty.
Well, what do you think? I think he looks amazing. We have pulled him into the realm of the Joker as much as possible. Like, that's definitely the Joker. Yeah. So we don't have Spirit's fog machine, so I don't think we can get it to work exactly the way it's meant to, but we're gonna hook up our good fog machine and then just try to manually trigger it when his hands are moving, and maybe it'll work. I it'll know. give you the illusion that it's doing <laughs> what it's supposed to do, so. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fog. Before we check that out, I just wanna say thanks for watching. If you like this type of video, we've got a ton of them on our channel. And until next time, stay wicked. I just booze with Halloween spirit. I also lose with all kinds of toxic stuff too. But don't worry, it's only lethal in large doses. I can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs>